That means you believe the sacrifice of an animal is just to eat the animal? How do you explain to a people that they're still stuck there about something that is above their belly button? <laughs> so for you, why are you doing it? There's no meaning to it? So why are you cutting the kurban? Oh, because it is an order. An order has meaning. The kurban, it is what? A substitution. We are doing it to remember the kurban that Hazrat Ibrahim made for the sake of Hazrat Ismail when that sheep was sent, that ram was sent from paradise. So there is a meaning. So it means that you are sacrificing. It's a substitution to sacrifice something that you really love. Because Hazrat Ismail is so beloved to Hazrat Ibrahim He was his firstborn. So it is so uh, difficult to understand that when we take that animal, it is supposed to symbolize the thing that we love most. Who do we love most? Don't say your wife or your husband or your children, yourself. Everyone loves themselves most. So that sacrifice that Hazrat Ibrahim made, sacrificing what he loves most, now we take that, we are repeating. And we're asking Allah, just as we have gone through the whole Hajj, gone through the whole process of running away from the dunya, cleaning ourselves, getting rid of our wrong characteristics, Wearing the ihram, now that we come back into this world, we are finished with our old self. Correct. You finish with the old self. It's dead. It's dead, symbolizing by you killing it. It's not Allah that is killing it. You yourself, you have to do it yourself. If you don't cut the qurban, it is not accepted, your hajj. <laughs> but how can we say to people that they think prayer is just going up and down? Fasting is just to be hungry. <coughs> and kurban is just to eat meat. You say, if you are still stuck there, be there. We're not going to sit here and argue with you. If that is the level of your understanding, that is the level of your understanding. <coughs> we leave it like that. <coughs> yeah, Allah forgive me. Al-Fatiha. <laughs>